Hello YouTube, PsychoFox here. So I've finally gone and done it, I've gone and picked up an Atari Lynx. Uh, I've been looking to get rid of these for quite a while, but I never have any good luck with them. Bought, I think, two or three in the past, and they're always broken. Uh, the last one I got was one of these Lynx Mark 1, which is the only one I want really. I never really uh, liked the look of Lynx Mark 2. I got Lynx Mark 1 for like 7 quid, and the screen was smashed. It got smashed in transit, which is a real shame. But I managed to get this one for, I think it was 15 quid. I had a slight problem with it and it's fully boxed as you can see it's got the poly inserts and manual it's a common problem with these but the little power joke there had been uh, pushed back into the console and it was sort of hanging off the board and was not connecting at all well so all I did was opened it up and hot glued it to the board and it works absolutely fine it's a bit of a bit of a fault really with the design it's not attached to the board very well and if you push push the jack in too far it'll uh, pull the little connector off the board so this is a uh, Lynx Mark 1, an absolute beast of a console when I remember trying out back in Dixon's, back in about 91 cartridges go in the little door at the end, you've got the 6 AA batteries there in the compartment and it's got uh, B&A at the top and at the bottom because you can flip the screen over for left handed play now this one has got a big circular D-pad, I've actually got another Atari Lynx here, which I think is the slightly earlier model. This is a later revision of the Mark 1, I think. You can see it's just got a cross D-pad, which works just as well. Uh, this one's got quite a few scratches on the screen. It's uh, totally missing its little power jack. And inside the battery compartment it's kind of a bit gunky, the foam that was on the back here is sort of gone uh, sticky and had to be removed but this one works as well I've got some batteries in this at the moment so might well keep this one for spares uh, I've got uh, Kung Fu in it at the moment I'll show you a bit of gameplay in a second one thing that is really good about the Lynx is you can buy new games absolutely dirt cheap I've got Hydra here which is sealed in a bag it's missing its original box but it's absolutely brand new and I've got this Kung Fu and Steel Talons for I think it was seven quid. You can pick up fully boxed brand new games for between five and ten quid, which is really good. So turn the console on by pressing the on button there, and as you can see, it's got a really nice LCD screen. This screen's a little bit scratched. It sort of has Mode 7 style graphics, sprite scaling. Uh, Kung Fu is a bit of a weird game, it's like a beat em up that takes place in a kitchen. Let's see if I can start it here. Let's see if I go into demo mode. So, in the first level, you're sort of working your way through a freezer, kicking tomatoes and peas and all sorts of weird things. So the graphics are really impressive for the Lynx. I've played Blue Lightning before, which is a game I'm looking to get. Which is a bit like G-Log, but with far superior graphics. Oh, well, that crashed, because I've been bashing the console about. Yeah, but so far I'm really impressed with the graphics on the Lynx. So, like, massive sprites, as you can see. Really colourful. Nice little bit of music. A bit of sort of sprite scaling there on the energy. Energy pickup. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting some more games for the Lynx. So let's just have a quick look at Steel Talons. Now when you want to change cartridges, you've got to... It's just a bit scratched up this door. Pop open a little bit at the end. And they've got a little lip on them. Some of the first cartridges these were completely flat and they just had a series of... A series of little bumps you gripped onto. Which wasn't the best, so they've... They changed them to this little uh, design with a lip. It's far easier. So Steel Talons is... Again, pretty impressive. Sort of a 
3D helicopter for light simulator. Bit of sampled speech coming up. Pretty impressive. Don't know if you can make out, but your helicopter's at the bottom there, that blue thing with the spinning grey rotors. You've got a gun there. Pretty smooth scrolling. Pretty impressive for a handheld console back from about 1990. I remember a mate of mine used to have a Lynx and he was always saying it was just not as good as he thought it would be for the money he bought a Game Boy. I've always been intrigued by him ever since so now I've got two. So really glad to pick this up. Looking forward to getting some more cheap games, possibly some nice new ones as well. Thanks for watching.